Raj Muni, so wonderful to see you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Welcome to Radio One in a new in a new studio. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I have. I want to start by saying that it must be wonderful to uh, to share set space with somebody as well read as this wonderful lady here. Oh yeah. She's so yeah, well read. Yeah, I, I was yeah, stunned that I had this incredible conversation with her uh, during the 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 gold interview. Mm. about shakespeare and english literature and this and that yeah, you know yeah. it's very rare yeah. no disrespect to other actresses so must be wonderful to just uh, share a makeup room where you can just talk about anything no we didn't share the makeup room <laughs> 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 just coming that would be the day no, i mean like but yeah you know uh, as per the the public perception where i'm i'm sure of course she comes across as this really you know pretty beautiful uh, glamorous girl but deep down she is so knowledgeable she she can finish one book um, in a day i'm sure and and she has read so many books which i can't even keep account now but it's amazing because you can talk to her about everything and she will always have as you know somebody was saying in the, in the earlier interview she'll always have some quote from some like some book somewhere which is phenomenal i think i love reading myself of course i can't read as much as she she does but it's brilliant i think reading is such a such a phenomenal habit and she's in love with her books i think i get though i think apart from acting the one thing that she loves the most is reading and then maybe dancing I, T- tell me I that isn't the best I compliment was... i mean better than sexy and beautiful and hot that which everybody the, says that is probably <laughs> the best compliment and it's it's like laying me down but honestly uh, you know in this film uh, i i was the one who was uh, the receiver there was just so much here that we needed to uh, learn because what is most important is uh, uh when you are on a set is the film and the script and you trying to like trying really hard and struggling to get your character i don't think it's it's not i mean obviously our directors are really like laid it all out there and you know helped us and all of that but if it wasn't for this man i couldn't have played rukmini the way i hope that it's come out nice but yeah it has it has yeah, yeah. so he has helped me out in every single scene with every single mood of what would rukmini be feeling every now and then so mm. and and you know you're you're pretty new to dinu in that particular world i mean yeah. these guys are already buddies yeah. they work together and since that this and that and i i find that's another really interesting character you know dinesh vision is a guy with a great sense of humor great yes. pizzazz Absolutely. and things like that so j- just your interaction with madoc and that family i i started as a stranger but uh, madoc has this uh, amazing quality of kind of uh, including you in a very very uh, unique way where you uh, by the time you finish the project you feel like it's family and dinu also is uh, one of the most intelligent witty and sensible realist person that i have come across in my life so if i actually want an advice and uh, or want to discuss or want a, a viewpoint on something he'd probably be the first person i would call and ask for a suggestion or an advice so uh, it was he was just a producer when when we started and i'm so thankful so so grateful that he uh, thought of me as rukmini in made in china and uh, yeah now i feel like madoc is one big extended family for me you know you see Jigga, the thing really is sorry i need yeah. to ask you is there a girl standing there behind that uh, because i've been seeing her since <laughs> there's actually a girl standing there na i'm not imagining some girl but she hasn't moved she, no no that's there's a wall a girl there na right behind that glass on the she's extreme right looking at me like from there hi can you hear <laughs> oh, she's not moving i swear there's a girl you can see right there's What? a girl there do we have a ghost What? Where? I think it's just a wall. It... No, it's his reflection. Who's it? No, there's a girl there. Man. She's looking at me. I swear. What? This is three. <laughs> All over. Can't, can't you see? There's I a girl see? there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is. There yeah, is I right? know what you mean. Why yeah. can't she? Why doesn't she move? I know what you mean. So you're she's not one, blinking one also. One above the the uh, this on the thing. right side. Yeah, it's just a cutout. It's a cutout. It's, it's a cutout. Cut insane. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because it's out of three. Back, I looked at her and she was looking at me in the same way. And now suddenly I look at her. She's looking at me in the same way still. <laughs> it's so real. Okay. It's time to make the second part yeah. as three, brother. It really is. <laughs> yeah, But actually, that's a so cutout, real. and you're seeing the the reflection on that. But it looks so real. अरे हटा उसको यार वो अभी देख रही हूँ मुझे. This is crazy. Arjun, <laughs> <laughs> so you know when you're growing up in Bombay, um, uh, Gujaratis are part of the milieu, right? You know they're your neighbors. They could be somebody in the building. Bombay, yes, yes. Uh, in Bombay, hmm. but in Gurgaon, your neighbors oh, are tend to be either Punjabi or UPites or, or Jats. Jats, yeah, yeah. So and you don't 
you're not introduced to that milieu. Yeah. I know a lot of my friends from Delhi have no idea no when idea. we say exactly, papa, exactly. fafra and you know thepla and things like that. Exactly. Even to the extent that when I say have you ever played a dandiya they're like dude we haven't played a dandiya. <laughs> so you know I believe you lived in Ahmedabad just to get yourself to acclimatize the world. Yeah you know? I did I did uh, yeah you're right you're absolutely right when I was you know this is the only character where I had no reference point of like I I played so many other characters earlier but I I met those people somewhere in my life. but gujarati for some reason my the only gujarati i knew was my first crush that girl was a gujarati but apart from that also like i could never speak to her uh but apart from that i had no idea uh so for that i think because we also we wanted to make it quite authentic and we wanted to uh, we wanted ragu to sound like a guy from gujarat the way he would speak hindi so for that i had to go to amdavad and stay there and then listen to people there local people there local boys there and i was doing a lot of voice recordings and i was uh, video recording them and trying to pick up whatever detail you know nuances i would i, I could get uh, because eventually it's a hindi film so you have to speak in hindi but in a way amdavadi boy would speak in hindi yeah they yeah. normally don't do a sh they do a sir they do a sir yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's very detailed yeah the way they say it, they would they don't say like usually what we see in uh, you know without offending anyone like yeah. but you respect but whatever lot of it what we see in when somebody portrays gujarati character they tend to go little caricaturish and they tend to go little loud so we wanted to avoid that we want to keep gujarat is not and... tarak mehta ka ulta chashma and you didn't say that i'm saying it mm-hmm. but, but you know but that's the problem i used to have with south indian uh, cinema earlier yeah, on. south yeah. indians portrayed in cinema characters portrayed it yeah. wasn't about them being uh, kaji haji uh, nobody talks like that Ayyo. and bongs yeah. Yeah. You oh know, bongs God, are again. Bongs yeah. So it's yeah. wonderful yeah. that yeah. you guys are part of a movement where everything is so authentic. The bongs yeah. are authentic. The yeah. South Indians are authentic, and now the Gujaratis are. I love the soundtrack simply because you know you, when you want to create a, a, a Gujarati score and you get uh, somebody like Sachin Jigar and Darshan Rao, yeah. you get all the right ingredients in yeah. place. Yeah. But uh, having said that, did you do Tandias when you when you grew up? No, Was never. Garba? Actually, never. I have attended a few uh, Garba events when I came to Bombay, and that was that for the first time I, I would have ever seen Dandia was seven, seven, eight years back, probably. And uh, you know, Pujo me maximum we do is Dhunuchi dance. Yeah. And uh, which so itself you know, is fantastic. How they balance it. Garba is very difficult. It's like the whole your whole body Bodies, is moving, yeah. and you're constantly on your feet. and you know i have had friends like i have i have my dancer friends who call me up and tell me that they have been like they can't wake up in the morning because they've been dancing all night through like yeah. they would sleep at like 3 o'clock 4 o'clock in the morning they are dancing so and the kind of elaborate movement like it's a full body cardio better than zumba or anything i feel so uh, and it's graceful so that is something i definitely want to learn properly but if you ask me if i can do garba very well no i can learn uh, in tidbits here and there So Orni is learning in tidbits. You're really underselling yourself. You're absolutely fabulous, both of you. So <laughs> thank you, Rishi. Uh, you know, uh, there's another thing that's of of great interest to me is the fact that you know we're going through this whole entrepreneurship boom in this country. Mm, yeah. You know, people are starting yeah. businesses, yeah. and Our the Gujarati startups. community is at the heart of it because you know they are into startup culture mm. and things like that. And this this film talks about that at one end. At the other end of the spectrum, when you have a movie which talks about aphrodisiacs and sex products, you can either get it very right yeah. all, i mean so very thin line actually thin line you can get yeah. it very right like wiki dona but sometimes it goes a little wrong like khandani shafa khana didn't work for example mm-hmm. you have a very fine fine sense of script mm-hmm. you knew when this whole tiger soup thing happened that mm-hmm. this would be right and this might work who yeah, knows what yeah, works but yeah, yeah. Uh, at that level yeah at least uh, while making it we were sure we were i uh, i was pretty sure that you know there's a responsibility because we don't want to i'm not the kind of actor who would just do thing for the for the heck of it just to make people laugh and and won't do just gags you know out of any scene and so is baman sir i think he is he is way more responsible than maybe i am like uh, he know he he knows his responsibility towards his uh, family towards the society so we were very sure that we're not going to do anything which would just make fun of uh, the issue that we're trying to say in, in our film so it's funny it's still funny the way it's written the way it's spoken uh, but we never wanted to make fun out of it we were never making fun of the the problem we were being very serious but the way it comes across across it it, it sounds and looks very it's funny it's situational yeah. humor basically yeah. you and me are talking really really seriously and like you know somebody else listening to it finds it funny yeah, yeah. Like, exactly that like. but also the film is not only about this problem you know film is way more than that film is a is a very personal journey of of somebody who an, an aspirational guy who's trying to make it big um, in his life who's trying to take care of his family give them everything that he can and how in that journey he he's tried everything he's he's tried to sell 
uh, emu ke ande and uh, roti maker and some 13 14 business ideas he has tried nothing has worked um uh, it's beautiful the way the whole structure of the film is yeah. and is surrounded you by parish you will love the rendition it yeah. is not only this it's so much more yeah, i'm sure so it is more. i am yeah, not yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. tell you but but you, you know this parish ravel and this mm-hmm. baman irani sometimes you can have an out of body experience like, <laughs> with these guys are like the bomb oh, right yeah yeah, yeah? Sir, yo, he's awesome he's and awesome. with parish ji again you know yeah. that the fact that his timing is just so bang i've always yeah? been a big fan of his work man i think both baman sir and parish sir they are so versatile and uh, they 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 love what they do which i at you know they've done so much of work they're uh, they've been doing it forever now but still the way when they come on set they're always about how to make it better how to how to make it like work even better the way it's on the page at, at that moment and we would discuss we would create way. something else yeah, oh thank you uh, <laughs> but there's so much to learn from these guys are and they have added so much value <laughs> to the film uh, both for sir and gajrat sir and baman sir um i think we just we just blessed that we have these people in our film so rukmini and him are husband and wife yeah and she's obviously out to make a tiger out of him <laughs> 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 and they're both gujaratis is that it yes, i mean yes, yeah hmm. like you can see that they try to make it uh, uh, some slightly contrast, odd yeah. but uh, a very uh, normal couple like you know you go uh, there and uh, she's pro- when i was given the character brief i was told that she's probably a girl who's lived in a metropolitan city like delhi or bombay and mm. she's been independent all her life but she obviously falls in love and probably had ambitions or aspirations but has now is settled in ahmedabad so it was it was very normal for her, her to not like have an have a gujarati accent yeah. uh, but uh, something that i had to work on was mannerisms uh, our uh, writers uh, right um, karan and uh, mikhil sir both actually sat Uh, with all of this with me how will she uh, say it or talk or be in the kitchen and all of that for it's a very typical middle class milieu yeah, that you've shown it's a very you know, she's a very simple there are scenes where he's he's going out somewhere and he's actually ironing his kachhas yeah <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing you've seen that like they've seen that kind of like where you you and your like you iron your underwears also <laughs> <laughs> that's ocd to another level <laughs> but you see that you know i'm not talking about uh, say in ahmedabad where well, if you go in the interiors of gujarat or even in uh, kuch bihar i'm saying uh, west bengal you <laughs> yeah. you can see the oddity probably sometimes you know the girls who go to go to college and are married off they're like they're like that so so uh, how was pujo i mean how is pujo normally do you go back uh, to uh, to calcutta I, sometimes or you... i go back last two years i haven't been mm. i've been shooting i think last year to no 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 after pujo we started uh, made in china but i celebrated it last year i did all the anjulis and everything this year i haven't been able to but uh, still on mahashtami 6:30 in the morning i visited a pandal and then went to so what's one that one must go to in bombay i mean i know there's abhijit's i know there's rani's ayans uh, yeah ayans yeah, yeah i, I the vibe there is the vibe i haven't is. been there to, on, on too many i have given anjuli in the lokhanwala one mm. and the, both the lokhanwala ones and then there mm. Have you have you gone pandal hopping? Oh yeah, not hopping, hopping not hopping, yeah. but yeah, every year of course, uh, we go we go to uh, to celebrate Durga Puja and and I I love Ma Durga's roop, uh, especially in, during Durga Puja. You know those I love that seeing her in that huge avatar. So I I'm I'm a, also I'm very spiritual that way. Like I I feel that you know there's this God and is looking he or she is looking at you and then. blessing you from everywhere so yeah i so love have you gone to the one in the lokhanwala back I, i've been there yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, you know those, those are special ones you yes, know you can yes. at least go near the house uh, a holiday that you guys have taken the, uh, recently that has been very very yeah. memorable i went to ireland uh, i think some 2 3 months back and then we went for a road drive went on a road drive there we drove some 500 600 kilometers non stop it was beautiful and you know ireland is so pretty yaar uh, I can't really say it in words how pretty it is. Did you like take a yeah. cruise across the English Channel or something? No, we didn't do yeah. that. We didn't. Yeah. Do that. We just went there. Uh, we went to Dublin, and from there we just uh, took a car and went all around the country. It's a small. It's not a very big island. It's a small country, but you can actually just in three four days you can cover the whole country. So what's the travel focus? What's like the dream next travel dream? Next is uh, Italy for sure. Italy and Switzerland. Morning. Yeah. I want to go to New Zealand and Australia. That whole side I haven't really. You like, should hire a car and go down the Great Ocean yeah. Road. It's just amazing. I've, I've done I that. Really, but you need a few Beautiful. days. You know, you can't just go it's like for massive. five days yeah, or seven yeah, days. Yeah. yeah. But uh, destination that you went to, there was really um, cool. Um, it was an island called Kokut and uh, Thailand. Me, we stayed in Suniwa. Oh my God, we were swimming with the fishes. I was drowning in waterfalls. 
<laughs> because the the water current was so strong and uh, we were going for midnight swims with the algae and on my birthday i keep repeating it it's not a big deal to him i know <laughs> but i saw a shooting star wow yeah at 12 and you 10. you wished no oh it, i couldn't i mean i was you realized ke, oh shooting star i got yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it's not like the woman you see in the window you know <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what happened? Like, at you, me. you, 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 like staring at nowhere, and it goes bush. Yeah, it's very fast. Done. <laughs> yeah. But there's some actually. I've I've seen some shooting star which which takes at least one and a half seconds to vanish. So that time you can quickly. Uh, so so last question. Uh, you two's in town. Are you guys going to have any time to go to Dy Patel and see it? I would love to, but I think we'll be really busy promoting uh, our film, no. which is. More important right now. Yeah. yeah, work is important. Any concert that you've gone to locally in India, even abroad, is fine. That you've turned around and said, "Wow, you're working too hard." I miss you. I miss cold plays event. Yeah, for some like some lot of people told me different things. Say, no, he'll they'll just come. They'll just sing two songs. You know, and people are gonna perform. And for that, I just listened to people, and I didn't take those tickets. I was stupid, and then I missed it, and I saw it live on TV, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I, I love cold play. I love Chris Martin." Yeah. Oh, I wanted to go for Ed Sheeran one. I couldn't. I was. I have just gotten free now. I was doing television for like. Good you guys are working really, really very hard. Farah Mams party, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You met him. Yeah, yeah. I met him. Whoa. But yeah. <laughs> to listen to his music live is a different yeah. high. Photograph yeah. and all. Yeah. Correct. Nice guy. I mean, soft spoken. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Oh They all my are so nice. Yeah. God, so humble. Like. Yeah. Really, like they stand and have a conversation. As long as you're treating them normal, they also treat you normally. That's what I feel like. If you kind of just like you, superstars. I love you. I can't wait to see Made in China. Thank you, Rishi. My time is up. God bless you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Rishi. See you.